Hey, Joshua Austin here with the Dentistry IQ Product Navigator Video Pearl. Today we're going to talk about the 3M True Definition Mobile Scanner. Now I'm a big fan of digital impression scanners. I think they're a great way to add value to your practice, make you more accurate, make your workflows faster. And as digital technology evolves more and more, we have more and more workflows that uh, allow us to use our digital technology, whether that be our single unit, two unit, three unit, uh, and even up to full arch, uh, indirect restorations, crowns, bridges, those kind of things, onto Invisalign, uh, onto implant restorations, and even now using them in conjunction with CBCT scans to do things like digital smile design. So we have a lot of, of applications uh, for digital uh, scanning technology in our office. And so if you're thinking about making the jump from the analog world of impression material to the digital world, there's certainly a few things to keep in mind. I think accuracy is obviously very, very important. These things have to be at least as accurate, if not more accurate than polyvinyl or polyether impression material. Otherwise, why would you switch? We don't wanna switch and then start having fit issues. Uh, what, that's a huge advantage of the, of the 3M True Definition Scanner is the accuracy. Now, part of what goes into that accuracy is that a little bit of contrast media or powder is required. But most studies show that that powder is actually what enhances the scanner's accuracy. So that's great. Second part of it is uh, I think the camera or the wand, the scanning wand with the 3M scanner uh, is much like an intraoral camera. So most people have some experience with that. So the learning curve I think is much less with that than it would be for some of the other scanners that have a much larger um, you know, optical scanning wand camera, whatever you wanna call it. So from a learning curve perspective, I think that the 3M uh, is definitely definitely favorable for, for dentists. Uh, a third component to, uh, to, to choosing a scanner, uh, I think obviously is cost. You know, many times with digital technology, the cost is expensive. Uh, and the 3M scanner uh, is definitely a great value for your dollar. Your dollar goes a long way. Talk to your local supply and technology rep and they can help you with pricing out all the different systems, but you're going to see a, a, a significant um, value uh, when it comes to the 3M scanner. It is a, a great uh, bang for the buck, so to speak. So I think that's another thing that is firmly uh, a massive advantage for the 3M scanner. And fourthly, you know, this uh, becomes a part of your practice. Uh, and so you need someone to help support you uh, when you introduce this type of technology. There are gonna be calls to a support desk. There are gonna be times you need to speak to your, you know, to your rep or your person, um, you know, uh, to help with various issues that come up along the way. And working with a company like 3M, I think is really good. 3M supports their own scanner. So when you have an issue, you call 3M and they help walk you through it. They either tap in and can observe what you're doing to see what the problem is or diagnose what's going on in your scanner uh, directly you know, through, through, through the, the Wi-Fi. Um, you know, and, and anytime we've had any kind of issue with, with the scanner, if something needed to be replaced, we had it the next day you know, via overnight delivery, you know, uh, before noon, uh, we were up and going. Uh, and most things, you know, they can walk through by, uh, by tapping in uh, over Wi-Fi into the scanner and, and taking care of from a software perspective. So working with somebody that supports their own scanner, I think is really important. Not, that's not uh, the industry standard for sure. Most scanners aren't supported by the company that makes them. They're supported by a supply company. So I think at the end of the day, the person that makes the scanner knows the most about it. So with 3M, they're the one that supports it. I think that's a really positive thing that you should look at. We're gonna go do a video demonstration of me doing a scan on a very simple single unit uh, crown on number three. Uh, it's a very basic thing that we use it for. As you get into the scanning game, that's probably the first thing you're gonna start doing with the scanner. You're not gonna jump right into digital smile design. You're gonna do it for your single units and stuff like that and then expand on from there. So I think it's a great way, way to start at it. Um, You'll be able to see it on the screen in just a minute here, uh, but but the 3M uh, mobile scanner, uh, 3M True Definition mobile scanner is what it says it is. It's very, very mobile. So it can move around. It doesn't have to take up a big swath of space in your operatory with a big cart or anything like that. 
sits right on the on the corner of the countertop and works perfectly so i'm a bit of a minimalist i love you know decluttering cords and things like that in my operatory and so this fits in perfectly with us we can pick it up we can take it from operatory to operatory so we don't have to have multiple scanners and i have actually even taken this uh, to a football practice field for a local university to scan their football players in the middle of practice uh, to have mouth guards made. So uh, a couple of, a few, for instance, defensive backs would come off the field. I'd scan them right quick. They'd be out for literally three plays and they'd be back in uh, and, 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 and practicing again. And I'd scan the next group of, of players. So obviously that's an extreme. You know, most people aren't gonna have the need to, to do digital scanning on the sideline of a football field, but the ability to just pick this thing up and go, just like you would an iPad or anything else like that, uh, the portability of it is really great. So think of it, you can move this around to a hygiene room, you can move this to any operatory, and, and that's what's really good about it. It comes with this really nice hardy stand, uh, so it, it holds up pretty well, be very difficult to drop, and if it did drop, you know, there's really no way that the screen uh, or the tablet itself could get damaged. So I'm a big fan of the 3M True Definition Mobile Scanner. It has really helped my practice. It has helped me achieve accuracy. It has helped simplify my workflows, helps me get work back sooner from the laboratory. It's really become one of the things that I couldn't practice without. So let's go take a look at a video demonstration of me using the 3M True Definition Mobile Scanner, and we'll talk about the process then. The first step in any scanning procedure with the 3M SP True Definition Mobile Scanner is to isolate the area. I generally will use a dry angle uh, in the over the parotid papilla uh, and cotton rolls to achieve that. A lot of times I'll use a bite block as well. And once that's in place and we have everything pretty well isolated, we dry everything really well. Then we're going to use this little gun right here that you see to uh, do a light dusting of powder. Now this isn't like the big snow drifts of powder that uh, you may be used to from the old like red cam days. Uh, very light dusting of powder, just takes a couple of seconds. Uh, the 3MSB True Definition mobile scanner is over on the countertop there. Uh, and you can see here from this photo uh, how small it really is. It runs off of a tablet computer and our wand plugs into that and it has a nice stand that keeps it upright and protects it. So now we're going to head over and, and actually start the scanning process. And you can see that everything is kind of a, a moving video uh, that you're, you're capturing and, and uh, stuff will turn, the, the two structure and gums will turn from uh, dark gray to red to white as things are captured and as everything is captured it turns white so the whole goal is to just capture everything in, in the area you're trying to capture it by getting it all to turn white you don't need more than than a few millimeters of, of gingiva you know uh, marginal gingiva uh, below uh, the gingival margin um, just to give the lab tech a, a really good idea of, of where the gingiva goes and whatnot and you can see I'm really focusing on that prep on number three to really make sure I get all around it and get all the angles to make sure that I get really good detail of that finish line. I'm going to finish by going over the palatal here of the upper teeth. And then I'm going to restart the scanner, go over onto the buckle, and uh, record the buckle. And uh, once everything has, has turned white, uh, generally speaking, uh, you're, you're pretty good. I think uh, if I remember correctly, this scan took around a minute and a half total. Uh, to do this uh, operative arch here. Now, I look at this, this is a single unit crown on number three. Uh, and so, you know, I would capture on this what you would capture with a triple tray like impression. Um, so just to, from, you know, the, the tooth behind it, the tooth distal number two, uh, up to the canine number six, and that should give the live tech plenty of information uh, to be able to fabricate a crown. Most people are using triple tray like impression trays to do a single unit crown. So I think I would capture the same amount of information. On the lower, uh, opposite this, opposing, we're going to capture the same information. We're going to isolate. It's a little bit more difficult to isolate on the lower because of the tongue, but a cotton roll does really good. Hold that in place there. We're going to switch it over to the lower. And now we're going to capture the lower just like we did the upper. And same kind of thing. I'm going to go from the second molar to the uh, canine. And that's a very typical scan for me for a single unit crown. Uh, if we're getting into more than a single unit, two or three unit crown, uh, then sometimes we'll do more, more units. Go to the contralateral canine, do a full arch, something like that, right? So, you know, we're just going to scan, 
basically the goal is to try to get everything gray to turn red and then red to turn white and it happens pretty quickly um, and, and once you get uh, all of that information uh, then, then we're, we're good to go. So this is the lower. We want to make sure we get that buckle of that canine so that the lab tech can really get a, a good idea of that incisal guidance. And in this situation, a little bit of the contrast media rubbed off on the cheek on the canine, which is where that's generally going to happen. Just add a hair more. It takes literally a second. Uh, and then I'm going to add to the scan here. It's going to pick up where we were. Uh, and then we're just going to add to that to that buckle and you can see uh, in just a second here it's going to dial in right to where we were um, it's going to pick that scan up again there we go and now we're going to take it forward and get the buckle of that canine so that we can really uh, get the lab tech exactly what he needs to get good incisal guidance there and, and uh, record the uh, canine relationship for the patient once that just, that's done we take out the cotton roll we're going to clean everything out now we got to get a bite registration and so we do that digitally without anything in between the teeth. So I think that gives us a more accurate bite registration. And you really just need to get a couple of teeth um, on the upper and a couple of teeth on the lower uh, while the patient is biting down in full uh, maximum intercuspation. And that's gonna give it the data that it needs. Now, here we go, we got, uh, we got that. And actually, I'm gonna be able to tell here in just a second that I didn't get enough tooth structure. And actually, uh, the jaw relationship is all off. The, they have the patient as a class three. So I'm gonna delete that. Uh, which is really easy to do. Uh, and then we're gonna get a new jaw registration record uh, that's a more accurate one. So I could tell immediately that that one was off, didn't get good information on that one. And so really easy, we're gonna patch that. So I'm gonna add a little bit more contrast media here just to make sure we get what we need. And right back to the scan, and I'm gonna get a really good bite registration here without anything in between the teeth, which I think is really, really important. Uh, we're gonna turn the, the wand can be turned on from the screen. Uh, and can also be turned on uh, from the wand itself by double tapping the wand. Uh, and so we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna capture these premolars here, make sure we get a really good, accurate record there. Got some of the prep in. Just one stripe up and down, takes about five seconds. And now that's a much better bite registration. So I can really look at it, make sure we're good. Now we're gonna save these scans here, and I'm gonna start taking a look at the preparation itself. So I'm gonna tag the preparation tell the computer where the preparation is, and then I'm gonna take a look at the finish line and make sure everything's captured in the detail I want it. Now we're really just pulling out uh, still images from the video itself. And so this is the way that I can really look and make sure that we got the, the finish line that we want, and I can check and make sure that we got the occlusal reduction we need. So you can set the filters at whatever level you want. I believe here we have it set at 1.5. So that little dot of green that you see there is 1.5 millimeters of reduction. So in that one little spot, we have 1.5 millimeters. Everywhere else, we have more than 1.5 millimeters. So I think we got a really good scan here with the 3M True Definition. It took me under five minutes to do the uh, operative quadrant, the uh, opposing quadrant, and get a good bite registration, and take a look at the scan itself and the raw data to make sure that we got a good capture of the finish line, which we did here. So that's the 3M True Definition uh, uh, mobile impression scanner. I think it's a great buy. I think it's a great choice. Take a look at it. Get a demo of it. Go look at it at an uh, exhibit hall. And I don't think you can go wrong with that particular scanner. Thank you.